73 pounds down so far, guys, on my 150 pound weight loss journey. But when you're sweaty and trying to get it off, whew, done. We are about 1.5 miles down. It just feels great to move your body. Grow into, what is it? You grow out of something when you get bigger. What is it when you go down in size? I'm somewhere in the middle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Lauren and today's video I am sharing how I schedule my weekly fitness routine, walking a 5K for my mile a day May challenge, as well as a new plus size activewear haul from Yvette Sports. Now that we're ready for today, I wanna to take a quick moment and thank today's video sponsor, Yvette Sports. So you guys know I've shared Yvette Sports one other time here on my channel, and I truly love their line of activewear pieces. They're functional, affordable, high quality, and fashionable while being able to offer a large range of sizes to fit everyone from an extra small to a 5XL in cup sizes A to F. I really love their line of high impact sports bras in particular. It can be so difficult to find an affordable, supportive bra for a larger chest size. And I couldn't be more excited to have found this brand because I don't wanna break the bank while I'm losing weight and my sizes are changing all over the place. It's nice to know that I can get sports bras and have them fit me, be supportive, prevent injury when I am doing high impact workouts. And I don't mind repurchasing them in multiple sizes as I go down because I'm not dropping $100 on a single sports bra that I might grow out of grow into? What is it? You grow out of something when you get bigger. What is it when you go down in size? Because I've been doing that. 73 pounds down so far, guys, on my 150 pound weight loss journey. Yvette's motto is be active, be daring, be inspired. And their clothing items are aimed to help women of all ages and all sizes get highly active and reach their goals. So instead of just telling you guys about how much I love this activewear because I could talk for forever. I'm gonna also show you how functional it is. So I'm gonna show you the three outfits that I have today while doing my indoor weights workout. All of the sports bras and leggings are high impact, high support, and can really work with you no matter what activity you're doing. I wear these whether I'm running around the house after my three-year-old, playing on the floor for yoga and low impact workouts, all the way up to walking, to jogging, and to high impact hit workouts or other weights and dance cardio workouts that I do at home throughout the week. So stay tuned after our indoor workout, getting some weights and stretch in. I'm gonna share with you guys also how I design my weekly workout schedule, how I rotate things through, what things I think it's important to include every week in my workout schedule, as well as we're challenging ourselves with a 5K walk outside. I'm gonna kind of compare my per mile average and see how I'm doing, do a good check-in now that we're mid-month for our mile a day May challenge, and then we're gonna repeat another 5K at the end of this month just to kind of check in and see what walking at least a mile, sometimes more, sometimes I do two. Um, this'll be only the second time I've done a 5K this month, so which is just over three miles. So we're gonna check in and see how our progress is doing and what just walking even a mile a day can do for your health and wellness. So let's get moving on these workouts and thank you again to Yvette Sports for sponsoring today's video. I'm getting started today by warming up my body with a little yoga stretch this morning, and I'm wearing the Enfold Crisscross Strappy Women's High Support Sports Bra in Royal Blue, paired with the For a Better Day High Waist Legging in Black. The sports bra is 83% polyester and 17% elastane. It features these special cutouts with air holes in the front, which allow cool air to flow through the material, helping you stay dry and cool during intensive workouts. The anti-skid wide shoulder straps avoid slipping off of your shoulders and digging in during exercise. The crisscross back allows for high support, but never feels constrictive and is super comfortable. It comes in sizes extra small to 5XL and in four different colors. These leggings are made out of 75% recycled polyester as well as 25% elastane. They're designed for high impact workouts, but they're breathable and reduce discomfort from heat during intensive fitness. They have a high waist wide waistband that makes you feel sucked in with soft fabric that gives you a streamlined shape. With four-way stretch technology, they're great for any activity. They come in sizes extra small through 2XL and in four colors. 
The next outfit I wanna share with you guys is the Infinite Me Women's High Support Running Sports Bra in white, and it's paired with the Shift Light Pocket Women's Light Support Leggings in light purple. The sports bra is 90% polyester, 10% elastane. It's designed for high impact workout, and I love how easy it is to put on and take off. This would be great for anyone who may have shoulder issues because they zip up and they stay zipped up without moving during the whole workout. The racerback design allows for full movement and support, and the ventilated fabric wicks away sweat. It comes in band sizes 32 through 42 and cup sizes A through triple D in six colors. These light support leggings are so nice as the warmer months come. It's a lightweight, flexible material made of 75% polyamide and 25% elastane. It's designed for low impact workouts. The sweat wicking fabric and elastic stretch makes you feel comfortable while allowing you to move freely. Perfect for yoga sessions and walking. These also have a side pocket detail for easy access to your essentials. They come in sizes small through 2XL and in two colors. Thin fudge. I just changed for the last time. I wanted to show you guys my last outfit from Yvette. We're gonna actually get going on a fam walk. We're gonna go do the 5K. They might do the short loop and then I'll keep walking on without them. But I cannot tell you guys enough how much I love all of their styles with the zip up front. This is the Infold Zip Front Women's High Support Running Sports brought in a geometric print. It's made of 80% polyester, 20% elastane, and designed for high impact sports. It has wide shoulder straps with breathable mesh and soft molded cups to hold your chest in place during movement. It comes in sizes small to 5XL and in cup A to F sizes in six colors. This is definitely my favorite set of the three. I love the colors and prints. I think we all know how awful it is to attempt to get a sports bra that's stretchy over your head and on after you get out of the shower, if you're getting dressed fresh for the day, or when you're sweaty. Hello, my warm up workout. <laughs> I'm already sweating. But when you're sweaty and trying to get it off, whew, done, love them. All right, guys, so here is the outfit. These are, again, the four Better Day leggings, same as the black ones I had on, but in this really pretty, like, burnt orange color. I love how firm support this one feels. Like, I feel like I can do jumping jacks. I could go running. I could do anything in this one. I love how much support this standard racer back one gives me. I feel like it's firm control. I'm not going anywhere. Here, look, we can do the back of this way. Oh, hello. So there's the back. <laughs> <laughs> All of the pieces I've shown you guys today are going to be linked in the description below. You can also follow Yvette over on Instagram at Yvette Sports Official, and they offer size guiding through a window chat on their site or an Instagram message, so you always know you'll get the right fit. Don't forget to use my discount codes Lauren15 for 15% off site-wide or Lauren20 for 20% off on orders $109 or more. How you doing, Lila? Yeah, you having fun with our walk? Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll see how accurate my timing is. We stop and start a lot with the tiny human and the tiny dog. But you guys are heading on from here, and I'm going that way. We're going to go get our walk in. Hopefully I can speed up a bit and make up my time from the crazy stopping starting that is walking with a three-year-old and a dog. Such a beautiful day. What do you guys do when you're out on a long walk? Do you like to listen to music? Do you just like the quiet? <laughs> Which I can understand as a mom of a toddler. Um, but I've been really into listening to podcasts lately and that's kind of new for me. I'm newer to listening to podcasts regularly and I've been really into the Real Moms podcast. It's Nikki and Amber and they're hilarious <laughs> and they talk about real mom stuff and it's nice, it's not fake. It talks about, you know, right now I think the one I'm listening to is about the hardship of making friends as adults. That's so true. Like we've moved so many times. Our kids not in school yet or activities. It's hard to meet new friends. We are about 1.5 miles down. Just about halfway. I was just thinking guys, I feel such a difference from last summer. The weather is getting warmer. It's getting humid. We're in Georgia. It's probably in the low 80s today. Why I decided to wait and walk at noon, I don't know, but it's when I had the time. Josh goes into work later today, so we had to get it in. Um, but I remember last summer getting started, doing more walking. I was at the beginning-ish of my weight loss journey. I think last summer I'd already lost like 25 pounds, 
from my highest, but I'm down almost 75 pounds now for my highest. So that's a significant change in the last year. I'm down like 50 pounds from where I was last June. So the heat and the humidity, and I would feel how heavy my chest felt when I was walking. And I don't feel that. I feel great. I'm right around the two mile mark and I'm fine to keep going. I'm excited to see where mile a day may takes me. I know doing one mile every day doesn't seem like a lot, but it's more about the consistency and the healthy habit of walking a mile every day. And then some days I get in more and if I feel good, I'll keep going. It just feels great to move your body and to feel like you can, not to feel like you're being weighed down to the ground or encumbered by, you know, the extra stuff all over your body that you don't need. I feel healthier. Got a long way to go yet. Got another 75 pounds to go till goal. You guys know I'm a little bit flexible on my goal number. It's going to be all about how I feel once I get towards that number and we'll find the right place where my body wants to stay. So it's a journey. I'm in this cute little pavilion bench. Okay guys, I am just over three miles. Just about done with my walk. I have like point two to go, which I'll get um, getting back over to our house. I wanted to really quickly sit down and chat through my process of scheduling out my week of workouts. Sorry if you guys hear running water in the background. There's little fountains around me. It's adorable. It's a nice little quaint rest spot. So what I try to do, you guys know I'm doing mile a day May. So that's my current regular every single day, get movement and cardio of some sort in. Um, that's what I'm doing for May. Every single day I'm walking, whether it's a mile, if I push for a 3K like I am today, if I have a in between, do a two miler to the park and back is usually what that is with my daughter. The other thing I try to get in every day, especially now that I'm walking every day, is some sort of a stretch. Sometimes, like earlier today, I throw on a 10 minute morning stretch yoga session. Sometimes I just do my own little sequence of stretching. I want to that is one area I think I need to maybe focus a month on is stretching for your body and your health as you're increasing your fitness and workout because stretching is super important. It's important to not get injured. It's important for your joints. And you know, that's another aspect of fitness and wellness that I'm learning about. So that's something I try to do every single day, especially now that I'm walking every day. Um, even though it's only a mile, just by checking in during this mile long walk, I can tell I am moving faster today because my body was warm when I went for my walk. So because I did that quick 10 minute yoga session and that quick 15 minute kettlebell workout, my body was warm all over and I started off this walk. Well, after I ditched my family, that was a struggle bus but <laughs> they went home. Once I got to be on my own pace and set the pace for myself, I was moving faster. And it's not because I was like jogging or running or really setting that. I think my body was just moving faster because it was warm. I didn't have to get myself warmed up at the beginning of my walk. I was warm already. So that's something else I'm doing every day. And then I try to mix it up at least three days a week. I try and get in an upper body workout, a lower body workout and then some sort of higher intensity workout, whether that's a dance cardio workout or a HIIT workout, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to rotate through and then I'm trying to also spread those extra three workouts out like every other day. I kind of write it down just in my weekly calendar and I kind of put in my idea of what genre of workout I need to do. And then as accountability, I fill it in for myself that day, what I did, how long I did it for, and I like to journal. That's something I've just started doing. I've never been a big journal writer before, but I've really been enjoying looking back on this process. And I think it's important for long-term health and keeping myself in check after I lose X amount of weight, keeping myself at a healthy weight and not gaining things back. It's so nice to have those reflective thoughts down like today, the fact that I feel like I can just be open and I feel like I can breathe. You know what I mean? <sighs> Walking because I don't have that extra weight in my neck and my chest. 75 pounds is a lot of fat to lose. And I've lost it pretty evenly all over my body. I feel like just all over, like I'm just slowly shrinking down, but like in an all over sense, I'm not losing it from one place over another. Um, so it's coming off everywhere, but it's about 
getting active every day. I feel like it's such a better set for my mood and I have more energy when I work out every day. It helps me get my water in every day because I'm so thirsty after coming back from my walk because I, I don't know about you guys, but I hate carrying things like it's enough for me to have to carry my phone to listen to my podcast or I sometimes talk to my mom or sister when I'm walking. It's enough for me to have to carry my phone. I don't want to carry a water bottle while I walk too, unless I have the stroller and then it's fine. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I do my walks. Here's a little look at my week at a glance and I will check back in once we get home to give you the overall stats for my 5k today. Hey guys. Okay. So my phone died in that last like 0.2 miles home, but I was tracking along with the run app and it times your walk as well as tells you your pace as well as um, how far you've gone. So I did pretty good. We got our 5k in. I ended up doing a pace of about 19 minutes and 46 seconds or so. I'll put the screenshot here, but that's almost a 30 second dropped from the last time that I was paying attention to my pace, doing my one mile a day walks. So we're improving. Thank you guys so much for joining me today as I tell you a little bit about my current fitness routine in May and mile a day May challenge. And also thank you again to Yvette Sports for sponsoring today's video. You guys gotta check out Yvette. Look at how cute these are. And they're so buttery soft, the leggings. They're great and they're lightweight too, which is awesome for the heat of the summer in Georgia. So anyway, check out Yvette. I will have their links to all the items I showed you guys today in the description bar below. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. I always do. I never think I always do. Never thought I would.